Hey guys, Eric Gorno here with Performance Golf. In today's video, we're talking about one of the most important parts of the golf swing and why learning to tilt your shoulders is so darn important and why I think it's gonna really help you with your game and your consistency. A lot of times, me included, when I learned how to do this, the level of consistency of my game skyrocketed. And I've seen that happen a lot with my students and I bet it'll do the same for you. So tilting your shoulders, let's talk about what it is, why it's important, and I'm gonna show you a little two-part drill that I use all the time that's really gonna help you. Now, when we're golfing, because the ball's on the ground and we're playing on this inclined plane, that requires us to be bent over at setup to get to the golf ball, right? Compared to, let's say we're playing baseball and I was hitting a ball level to the ground, I could then hit the ball standing straight up and down. But with golf, because the ball's on the ground, again, we have to bend over. Now, because we have to bend over, we're presetting this angle, or what we call inclination to the ground, which is just the distance my body is from the ground. Now, if I set up this distance from the ground, and the club head's even with the golf ball, and my arms are fairly straight, it serves to reason that for me to get through the golf ball at impact, to get back here, I still need to be bent over roughly the same amount. I certainly can't start bent over and make a swing where I stand up and swing up here, right? I would miss the entire golf ball. So in order just to hit the ball, to get down to the ball and to hit the ball solid, I have to maintain that angle, inclination to the ground. Some people call this maintaining spine angle. Now, if that's true, we have another thing that we have to battle with in the golf swing, which is rotation. Okay, so if we have to keep our inclination to the ground, gotta kinda keep this angle at impact, and during the swing, I have to rotate my body back and through, right? I'm not gonna hit a ball where I stay pointed towards the ball the whole time. Some people will, but we don't want to. For me to be able to keep my body the same angle from the ground, with my body turning, this is where I have to learn the shoulder tilt or the side bend to be able to do it. So let me explain what I mean. At the setup position, I'm bent forward, my chest points down towards the golf ball. In the back swing, where does my chest go? If I rotate my body, where's my chest? It's pointed back away from the target. Now what part of my body is now pointed down by the golf ball? My left side or my left shoulder. At setup, it was my chest. During the backswing, it's my left side. In order to turn and keep my body on this angle to consistently hit the ball good, I need that left side bend or tilt. Now, when I make my downswing, my chest goes back down towards the golf ball, but what happens on the way through? My chest is now pointed where? Out towards the target. What's pointed down at the ball? My right shoulder, my right side. So in order to keep that angle as I turn, left shoulder down, right shoulder down, left shoulder down, right shoulder down. If I did that poorly, right, what I see a lot, myself included, would happen, is I'm set up like this at setup, and a lot of times on the way back, oh, I lost that angle. My left shoulder is pointed way high level to the ground. I'm stood up now. I've got to go back down and find the golf ball. Very difficult to do over and over. But if I make a backswing and I learn how to get my left shoulder down, now, very easy, I've kept that same distance. I can replace that with my right shoulder on the way down and through. So the simple version of this before we get to the drill is get your left shoulder down under your chin on the way back, get your right shoulder down under your chin on the way through. Left shoulder under the chin, right shoulder under the chin. Now, when I do that, does my shoulder just go down? Does it look like this? No. Does it look like this where it just turns with no tilt? No, it's a combo of those, right? The shoulder stays down. If there were like a wall here on my shoulder line, my shoulder is gonna stay below that as it goes back towards my left foot and rotates. Same thing on the way down. My right shoulder is gonna stay below that as it works forward towards my left shoe and rotates. Okay, so the simple version to start is left shoulder back under the chin, right shoulder forward under the chin, then I'll show you the, the drill. Left shoulder down, right shoulder down. And that's the first thing that can keep 
the inclination of the ground, very solid strike there. That's a seven iron for me, straight at my target. Now, if you're someone like me or my students who struggles to feel that, my favorite way to do it, if you grab two alignment rods, you can get these at a local store. You know, a lot of country clubs will have these. If you put this behind the golf ball, so the way I'm gonna set this up is probably, let's say about a club head, probably about a club head and a half, club head and a ball, you know, maybe three, four inches behind the ball and slightly outside of it. Now, when I make my backswing, I'm gonna put this front stick over my shoulders. So the end of the stick on my right shoulder, all of it's on my left, right? When I make my backswing, I'm gonna try and get this left side of the stick to hit this front stick. Now from face on, you'll note I've got that about in line with the inside part of my trail ankle. That's how far back it is. Now when I do this, I wanna hit down, like notice where the stick points. Is my shoulder going at the golf ball? No, like that's crazy, that's too much. But I'm also not going level. Like if I did bad and I just stood up, I'd miss the stick altogether. So I'm certainly looking to hit the stick. And what's really convenient with this, if you can get one of these, is I'm hitting right about at the bottom of that little white mark, right? So it's not quite halfway down, but maybe 40% of the way down. I'm certainly not above it. I'm not at the golf ball, about halfway down. Now I also put it behind the ball. And if you need a little more turn, you could even go a little bit farther. The reason you put it behind the ball is why? So that I can still get my full turn. So full 90 degree shoulder turn. This is such a good little drill. Now, as I'm doing this and the shoulder's going down, look at my lower body. What's my left, lead, uh, left knee, left leg doing? My left leg's increasing its bend. Okay, so as I'm doing the tilting on the way back, the shoulder's staying down as it goes back, tilting and turning. The left knee, right, is working forward or increasing its bend a little bit. So the pressure works towards my left toes a little bit and my right heel. That'd give me the tilt on the way back, okay? And that's a really good place to start. What I can also do and what I would advise with that is I could just mirror that forward of the golf ball. So three to four inches in front, just outside. If I wanna feel the downswing tilt, get all of the stick to the right of my shoulder and I'm gonna feel the same thing. So I'm trying to keep my head pretty much back over the golf ball, but still get my shoulder forward. I'm not going above it. I'm not at the golf ball but I'm just below sort of the bottom white part of that stick. Okay, only difference really when I'm doing this on the way down is you'll notice my hips are moving forward towards the target. On the back swing, I don't want any hips going away from the target. Turn and tilt. On the way through, it's the same thing. Turn and tilt, but you can have a little bit of shift along with it. So I really, really like that drill and would advise that if you're someone who likes the drills what I'm trying to do then is replicate the feels I got when I was doing that drill when I hit a golf ball. So when I come back up, I'm gonna feel like that, you know, object is across my shoulders and feel, okay, down and back with my left shoulder, left shoulder under the chin, down and forward with my right shoulder. Keep feeling like I'm keeping, if we put a line kind of right through my body here on the screen, I'm trying to keep my body that same angle. That's my goal here. And that's why the tilting is so important because as we add rotation to keep our body's inclination to the ground, we have to have the tilt. Left shoulder down and back, right shoulder down and through. And that should look pretty good there. Nice, high, solid, little draw, maybe 10 feet left of my target, but very solid. I would take that all day. The point here, guys, is this. If you're someone who's playing and you feel inconsistent, frustrated, not sure why you can't hit the ball solid. This would be like one of the first things to check on a checklist to make sure you're doing it well. The best golfers tilt the most and keep that inclination. The highest handicaps would lose that on the way back, lose that on the way through, and it's very hard to make that up consistently with your arms and hands. Difficult, lots of timing. So tilt your shoulders, Hopefully that you understand why and that main drill you can do, right? If you want something more specific or something simple, left shoulder under the chin, right shoulder under the chin. Any questions at always, leave a comment down below. Appreciate you guys watching.